Hi guys uh, I'm not sure whether you guys will be able to hear me uh, Thought I was just giving some some updates uh, I've had my I've had my new tires for like two months now and I, I mean these are the best things that, that, that I've done I guess because my, my car just rides so differently now I mean it, it rides so much better and the other thing is uh, I was having a conversation with a, with a friend this morning a friend a reader or of, of evil or whatever all right he was talking about his you know he has an Audi S4 and then uh, he, he sort of wanted a uh, a two-door sports car and maybe a roadster and all that so that got me thinking because I was trying to tell him I was trying to sell him the idea of have, getting a cabriolet because I was surprised as well uh, by this because I have a cabrio and a wagon right I mean everybody I mean all car guys know that uh, even my circle of friends they know that I'm, I'm a super wagon fan you know the ultimate do everything you know car so I never thought myself would say this but it turns out my cabrio is a lot more practical than my wagon now why do I say this okay I mean bear with me here all right because I found myself dropping the top almost every other day I mean for within the week I'm seriously almost every morning or evening or like now you know it's just nice weather it's not very sunny and I tend to just drop the top because I just love it I just absolutely love it so in terms of what the car does I'm able to utilize this car almost every single day when it's not raining uh, for what it was designed and manufactured and purchased to be whereas my wagon yes is is ultimate because when I moved house when I when I shifted right and I, I went I went to IKEA I managed to stuff a dining table of course IKEA is flat pack right I managed to stuff a dining table a coffee table with four chairs and three rows of carpet into my wagon so that to me is like the whoa why is this Toyota Rush driving like that oh my god come on anyway so I was able to stuff a dining table with four chairs my coffee table and three rows of carpet into my wagon now the thing is this when when I compared both things right my wagon is uh, you know it's like a Swiss army knife the big ones where you have a knife you have a ruler you have a screwdriver you have a nail clipper you have all sorts of stuff whereas oh come on my god that motorcycle slowed down to try and hit the side mirror of this Toyota where the Toyota was coming from behind and uh, come on that's not good anyway interesting stuff so uh, see I got lost out there all this aggression taking place Anyway, oh yeah, back to Swiss Army, right? So, my wagon is almost like a Swiss Army knife where when, when you look at it, right, it's like super capable, it has everything, but actually, you don't really use it most of the time. Uh, okay, my friend's gonna kill me now. No, wagon friends and all that. I, I, I like the wagon because of uh, its image. I have to admit that because it just looks... It has that trying to not look cool feel to it. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, people buy it just to look cool, you know. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's my update. So don't flame me, but seriously, Malaysia is the best country to own a cabriolet. Yes, I'm serious. Now, uh, let's talk about UK, right? United Kingdom. Um, it is. It has one of the highest cabriolet per capita in the world. I kid you not. Yes, the Brits. All right. But if you know anyone who has ever traveled there, they can tell you this. It has absolutely horrible weather. Right. They don't get to see the sun. It's always perpetually raining or foggy or cold, uh, drizzling, wet and all that. You know, it's just bad weather. But why, why people buy cabriolets there and on Mars? Because, because they don't see the sun and that, that's what makes them cherish it. Alright? So whenever they have the chance that the sun is out, they will drop the top. They want, they, you know, they want sunshine, you know, they just like it. They miss it so much. They want every opportunity of it, every minute of it. They, they want to savor it. And that's why they buy cabriolets, they buy convertibles. A lot of them buy because they have bad weather. It's totally unsuitable. But that's what makes them buy it. Now, when you come back to Malaysia, we can, we have perfect weather all year round. And every morning, every evening, and every night, you can you can drop the top. Now, a lot of people are talking about, you know, they always have this concern that, oh, someone's gonna get a knife to, you know, cut off your your roof and all that. Well, anyone can take a stone, a stone and smash your car, or anyone can kick your car. So that to me isn't a reason that uh, we shouldn't get cabriolets because. It's just so enjoyable, yeah. And it's more enjoyable than riding motorcycle. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get killed here. You know why? Because, yes, motorcycle is, you know, you're exposed to the environment and all that. But because of law and because of safety, you have to wear a helmet and then you have to wear those safety jackets and all that, right? You are actually insulated. It's almost like you are in a gigantic diaper and you don't get to feel the environment whereas a cabriolet you can hop up your car in t-shirt and shorts and slippers and then you are enjoying the wind the, the, the elements whereas a motorcycle you can't you are trapped in the helmet right peace yeah